thanks everyone for sticking around. We have TCU women's basketball head coach Mark Campbell here. Uh, the team began official practices um, yesterday. Season starts in about 40 days now. We'll open the room up for questions for coach. A lot of new things on the roster this year, coach. How's this adjustment process been going? Great, great question. We were fortunate to do a, a foreign tour um, this summer, which was an absolute blessing. As we have uh, six portal kids and six returners, two freshmen and a new staff. So that opportunity couldn't have come at a better time. And so this summer we got a two week training camp and then we got to go play three games. And so that, that speeds the process up of where you're normally at this time of the year. And so the chemistry, um, the relationship, the locker room, all that stuff that takes time, um, we're, we're pretty far along. And so, um, the chemistry and all that stuff, going back to your question, is at a, a, a really, really good spot right now. Where do you set expectations for this team in year one? You know, I've learned with young people, um, don't, don't, don't limit them. Um, I think the sky is uh, the limit with this group. Um, a really talented group and that really enjoys each other. Um, had a great practice today. And, um, but they, they enjoy competing, they enjoy each other. Um, I think we're talented in a lot of different areas. And so I, I truly think the sky's the limit for this group. Mark, when you were introduced in the spring a few months ago, obviously you had a little confusion. You look now, the season started. You feel like you got done kind of what you wanted to get done or how much you put that out there? You know, man, we, uh, you just never know uh, how things will unfold in the transfer portal era. And uh, couldn't, have been, couldn't be happier, I think. Um, the, the kids that we brought in um, uh, kind of fixed a couple of the needs that we need. And you have an old veteran point guard like Jaden Owens, who's 23 years old and um, played a huge role at Baylor in the Big 12. And um, is your floor general that you need to win at a high level. And Sedona Prince is kind of our anchor um, in the middle. And, and um, she's played at the highest level um, throughout her career. And, um, so you got an elite point guard, an elite center. Um, Madison Connor we brought in from Arizona. She played in the national championship game her freshman year, and so she's been playing at the highest level. Agnes won the national championship at Stanford, um, played in multiple Final Fours. And so you've got a veteran group that we've been able to, to bring in that have been playing at the highest level of college basketball. Um, and so the portal was really, really good to us. And then I'm, I'm very grateful for the returners uh, they have just been awesome from day one when uh, we started our workouts in April. They've been incredible, and so it's a special group. Was it intentional when you guys went to Portland, not only to find talented players, but talented players that came from winning programs that had success in Portland? Yeah, I, ideally, that's what you're trying to do, and it worked out this cycle. Uh, that we got kids that fit our system, kids that fit our culture, uh, and a group of them that have been competing at the highest level. And um, so I'm super grateful for those young ladies. Talk about the system. Uh, last year, offensive struggles were a big part of, of why they weren't successful. You bring in an, a lot of new players, but a lot of shooters. What can we expect from this offense? Yeah, we value skill. We value shooting. Uh, we'll lead the country in pick and rolls per game. Uh, we'll uh, spread you out. Obviously, we got Sedona in the middle, um, who's a matchup problem, and so you want to surround her uh, with a whole bunch of shooting, so she has space to operate. Um, again, you want a whole bunch of shooters. I think we got one of the best point guards in college basketball in Jaden Owens. And so um, we'll play four out, one in. Um, we're going to pound the ball to Sedona. We're going to run a whole bunch of pick and rolls. Um, and we want to play fast. Defensively, what do we expect from there? Yeah, you know, defensively, there's no gimmicks with us. It's, uh, we're going to play, hang our hat uh, defensively on, on defending people man to man. Uh, we're going to be sound and disciplined. Um, Obviously, Sedona is a, an elite shot blocker and someone that protects the rim for us. Um, but defensively, I'm, I'm old school and simple. Um, and we'll be tough and hard nosed. Sedona's dealt with a couple of injuries over her career. Are you guys doing anything load management wise to protect her in that sense? Yeah, I mean, I, the resources that are here are incredible. Um, our, our training staff's been amazing. Our strength coach, Taylor, has been incredible with Sedona. And so, Sedona's kind of been on her own plan in regards to managing her body and workload and what she needs each week um, and making sure we're preparing her right for the season. And so she's as healthy as she's ever been. 
I would say she's in the, the best shape she's probably ever been. And she's incredibly focused and locked in. Um, this is her last season and her last go around. And couldn't be happier for where she's at right now, uh, 40 days before the season starts. Luna's schedule very front loaded with home games. Was that by design to get, you know, get the crowd involved in this new era of women's basketball here? Yeah, majority of the schedule's done uh, a year in advance. So you kind of take um, the schedule, and uh, there was a couple games we were able to play with a little bit, but majority of that thing was done. Um, and so we're, we're fortunate to have a whole bunch of home games. In college athletics, it's uh, hard to go on the road and get wins. And so thankful that we get a chance to play at the Schulmeyer a lot uh, and lay a great foundation before we get into Big 12 play. Speaking of Big 12 play, what are you looking forward to about playing in this conference this season? Oh, it's an elite level conference with a whole bunch of uh, great coaches, great programs. Um, it's going to be a, a great challenge. And uh, so really excited to, to, for many things. One, just, just uh, taking over the program that was at the bottom and uh, digging out of that hole. And then uh, it's just fun to also, there's a bunch of neat college towns. Um, and so uh, haven't played at many of them. And so that'll be a fun opportunity to kind of really get to see the, the lay of the land in this league. Um, and then just, just the coaching in this league is incredible. And, um, and so I'm excited for that challenge. Yeah, I mean, you haven't really been in this group um, until you're thrown in a fire. Uh, you don't totally know what, what they're made of and what each one of them's made of, and individually and as a group. And so um, you can't replicate that. And so um, I'm just excited. We, we have some close scrimmages that we, we have the opportunity to go out there and compete, and, and we'll learn a lot from those, and then just keep growing and, um, as a unit. Luna's been incredible. Uh, she's, a, she's a versatile combo guard um, that can play the one and the two. Uh, she's a winner, uh, elite competitor, great defender. Um, she has been one of our most just steady, consistent players um, over the course of the summer. And then she's, uh, she's starting this, this uh, fall, fall camp the same. Um, so she'll, you'll, you'll see her playing some one and the two. She'll, uh, uh, majority of her time will be off the ball uh, just because Jane Mellons is such an elite level point guard that we want her to make a lot of decisions for us. Victoria Flores was the highest rated recruit for this high school class coming in. What have you, what have you seen from her since she's been on campus? She's been incredible. It's a, it's a big jump to go from high school to the Big 12. And uh, Vic has attacked this thing. Uh, incredibly mature for a freshman. Um, has an elite work ethic. When I left practice, she's, she was in there getting shots up um, at the end of practice, which she does every day. She's one of the last kids to leave the gym. Um, she loves it. She's always working on her craft. Um, she's an incredible leader. Um, and what she's doing right now and, and over the course of summer um, in her first couple practices for a kid, she hasn't played a game in a year and a half. Um, so she, is, she has been incredible um, and is going to have an important role um, with our team this season. And what, what did you say you expect the summer after being in the league? <laughs> I, wasn't, you know, I wasn't used to the seat. Um, the seat was a little different. Um, right now it's beautiful though. I love, I don't know about you guys, the evenings and the mornings are, are amazing. Um, I love sitting on my back porch in, in the mornings and in the evenings. And, um, right now it's perfect. I love it. Summer was a little hot. No, I mean, the air. So here's the deal in Texas. I bring a hoodie everywhere because it's 105 degrees when you go outside. Then you go inside a building for, for lunch or something, and the air conditioning's freezing. So I, I like carrying my hoodie around everywhere. So it's like two extremes. And uh, I thought maybe it was a, the first couple places I'd go, I thought the air conditioning was maybe just a little, little high for that building. Then I realized that's everywhere.